Uh, we grow regular old red beef steak tomatoes. We grow Roma tomatoes, Radiator Charlie's Mortgage Lifter, Green Giant. I think that what makes a great tomato is just sweat and toil in the field. My name is Tim Stark and I am a farmer in Loboxville, Pennsylvania. In a typical year we grow about 100 varieties of tomatoes, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. It's green zebra. Pink ox heart, German striped, Costa Little Fiorentino. We pick it and pack it and we take them into New York City, sell them at Union Square Green Market. I purchased this farm at an auction. It's a 58 acre farm. I was living in Brooklyn and I was a struggling writer and I was growing a garden on the land I grew up in which is about, is about 15 miles from here. And I would start the seeds in Brooklyn because I was working there and was running out of space to put them in windows and I was putting them on the rooftop and finally I, I brought them down to Pennsylvania and, and put them in the ground. Yeah, that first year I really had no idea what I was doing and some farmers might come out and say, you still don't know what you're doing. I don't know, we did a lot of things wrong. We're supposed to grow it in sand, but to me, sand lets all the minerals drain through. And we have a kind of heavy clay, mineral-rich soil. To me, a lot of that flavor comes from not just the variety of tomato grown, but the soil that it's grown in. That combination of minerals just gives the tomato everything it needs to taste good. It gives it that built-in salt flavor. I think we grow a good product, but I've had really loyal customers. We made friends with a lot of different chefs. Daniel Ballou and John George Bogdan Richten and most of Mario Batali's restaurants. You know, the way it worked was when we had a lot of tomatoes, the chefs put a lot of tomato dishes on their menus very generously for us. You know, Tim, what's, what, when are you going to be heavy? You know, oh, we're, <laughs> next week, man, we're going to be heavy. We're going to have so many cherry tomatoes. Okay, I got, a, I got a dish I can put on the menu. And I made sure that they always got something. Even when we had a big rainstorm that split half the tomatoes, I made sure that they had something to keep it on the menu. And it's hard because we want to balance everyone, make sure everyone gets something, the customers in the front, the restaurants. Without them, we couldn't have built this farm up into what it is. This I did actually for Daniel Ballou because he said when he goes back to France, he loves the Cour de Boeuf. They often count on me to grow something new and they're quick to snap those up. Because that's, after all, they're the ones that come up with the interesting things to do with whatever we're growing. My favorite ways to eat tomatoes, I tend to slice them up and throw it in a sandwich with a piece of cheese. Real simple uh, applications. I leave it to the chefs to peel the, the skins off and I mean some of the things they make are just insanely delicious. I got the time to pound the steaks in and run the strings between them and barely to get them off the vine and onto somebody's plate.